Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're talking about these pens. These are a new pen on the block from Ian Schoen at Schoen Design. They are aluminum pens, which are anodized in all kinds of fancy, fun colors, and uh, they are built on the same chassis, the same spec sheet as the engineered plastics pens. So, uh, these are pens that I have done videos about in the past. These are made of Peak, Black Ultim, and regular old Natural Ultim. And I really like the size and feel of these pens, so, when Ian brought these to the recent Philly show here in 2022, a week or two ago, uh, we had to grab them. So this is one that actually Audrey got <laughs> before the show even opened. She went over there and she's like, I will have this. Uh, and then she said, hey, Mike, we owe Ian money. So I, I did that. Uh, and then this was one that Ian gave me for review and to show to y'all uh, because he is just a super cool guy like that. And uh, so I said, you know, show me the one that you have the most of. These will be going live on Tuesday the 20th. 25th uh, if all goes well and uh, so you'll be able to find them then. So let's take a look at some of the features and such on these pens. As you can see it is a little bit conical at the top and bottom where you would have a finial but these are all these are one piece caps and barrels. They are they are finished in all kinds of fun colors. There are lots of options for these. Uh, we just have two of these to show you, uh, at least <laughs> at least so far, but these are really good. So we might end up getting more of them. You can see there where the cap band would be. You have shown design, and then there will be a glyph of some kind. All of these, uh, at least this initial batch, have a glyph of some kind worked into the uh, the cap band area. Mine has a winky face. There are lots and lots of these glyphs. I forget how many he'd said, but I don't know, 13, 20, some number of different glyphs. And it is important to know that these are all apportioned randomly throughout the uh, throughout the, the color patterns and all that sort of thing of this run of pens. And so when you order one, it's going to be random. I don't think he's going to be able to give you the option to pick the glyph that you would like. But there are all kinds of fun ones. There are emoji style ones like this little winky face. There's a, there's a shooting star. There's an ice cream cone. There are several really cool ones out there. So you're probably not going to be disappointed with, with whichever one you get. It's just going to be a fun little surprise. Opening up the pen... You will see that the section here is anodized to match the rest of the pen. And actually that goes into, that's the whole, the whole section is like that, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, I have popped my own nib on here. These take a number six Yovo nib. This is a Franklin Christoph nib, of course. It is uh, sort of black. And I was like, oh, that's going to be a, that's going to be a good combo. I told Ian I was going to put one with my face on it, but, but I decided to go with the black one instead. Sorry, Ian. Uh, I'll, I'll put my face on it next time. So uh, there you have it. There is an O-ring inside here, but unlike the engineered plastics pens, the, he has foregone the O-rings uh, that you would find here, and I believe inside uh, the section as well. Yeah, I don't see any in there. Because you're not going to be eyedroppering this pen, and those were really just to make it ultra secure for eyedroppering so that you didn't have to add grease or anything like that to the uh, to the pen. Does take standard international converters or cartridges? Uh, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't eyedropper this pen because it is just made of metal, and that's sometimes not the best idea with uh, with these aluminum pens. So there is the O-ring you can see there. Now, can you post this pen? You totally can post this pen. I don't think I'm gonna be, but Ian said uh, you it'll probably sit on this O-ring before it would do anything that would scratch the finish. But uh, I think I'm just not going to do it. I don't generally post these pens. They are definitely long enough to use for me, even with my big hands, uh, without posting it. So I think that it'll be totally fine. If you do post it, post it, I mean, carefully, unless you just don't care about it accumulating scratches, because you can hear a little bit of, uh, of a scratch when you, when you take, you know. And you post it and unpost it. And I think over time you could wear that finish down. So like, I don't know, I wouldn't do it. So there you have it. Those are the parts and pieces of this new pen. Just to uncap this one, this has Mr. Nose's face on it. There we go. I'll give you a nice look around this pen right there. Lots of fun. Uh, this is a very cool pattern and there are several of these. So be on the lookout for these when they pop up uh, on Ian's site later. All right, let's look at it next to some other pens.
There you have it. I went for things that were kind of in this, this size range, really. So we have the Franklin Kristoff Model 20. We have here the Twisby Eco, which is, uh, I think everybody's probably had one of those. This is the Sailor Pro Gear, the regular size, full-size Pro Gear. There's the Shown Design, yet to be named, Fountain Pen Wow. And then here is the Shown Design Pocket 6, just to show uh, the, you know, the size comparison between those two things. I will, of course, have specs and all that at the end of the video, so stay tuned, and you'll see those uh, here in a little bit. Let's take off some caps and see how they look uh, uncapped, and then we'll go ahead and post them, because, hey, why not? Okay, so there you go. Once again, Franklin Christoph Model 20, the Twisby Eco, the Sailor Pro Gear, the Shown Design Fountain Pen Wow, and the uh, the Pocket 6. The Pocket 6, of course, coming in very short. It is meant to be posted. So let's go ahead and post these pens just to, to give you an impression there. But this is kind of in the, the medium range. It's about the same length as the, the Franklin Christoph 20, uh, a little bit shorter than the Eco, a little bit longer than the Pro Gear. So it's kind of in the middle there. All right, there you have it. So uh, the this one posted comes in a bit over six inches, like 6.3-ish is my rough approximation, uh, which is pretty long, but not nearly as long as the baton that is the posted Twisby Eco. So uh, you can see this, this does kind of change the dynamic a bit. I generally do post a Pro Gear, and I don't really post the rest of these. Sometimes a Model 20, but not, not the rest. Well, this one, of course, everybody posts these which makes this about the same uh, as the, uh, the unposted one here. It's actually a little bit shorter. Interesting. I thought it would be, I thought it would be pretty much the same, but it's a little bit shorter. There we go. Just to poke it down. There we have it. It's a little bit shorter than a posted pocket six, but not that much and certainly functionally works perfectly well. Okay. So let's talk prices just a little bit. This one is going to come in at $195 with your choice of Yovo nib. The next uh, most expensive one is the Natural Ultim, which comes in at $250. The Black Ultim at $260. And then the Peak Peekaboo Edition, which has this fun ghost. I, I hope there are some ghosts in these. I, I didn't see one on the table, but I also didn't look through every pen that he had. So there you have it. All right, so which, and this one comes in at 275. There's a lot more handwork and polishing and all that sort of thing in the plastics uh, than there is in the aluminum one, I think is what makes up that price difference. Although maybe it's materials as well. I didn't actually ask him for a breakdown, but that is my guess. So if you like the size of the plastic ones, but you're like, I need something that's a little bit louder or maybe a whole heck of a lot louder or I don't know, kind of, <laughs> I actually don't even know what to call this pen. It's just, it's such a cool combination of colors. You got golds and greens and, and blacks and stuff going on in there. I, uh, I really dig it. And I've been using it actually quite a lot. So uh, there you have it. These are a very comfortable pen. And uh, I hope you snap these up and tell Ian that you saw them here because we're pals. And I don't know, I won't get you anything, but you never know. People like to, people like to hear stuff. So uh, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.